So the shit just hit the fan. Now what? Now what do we do? Now what What are you going to do? What can you do? What's going to happen? Should I bug in? Should I bug out? What actually happened? Hey guys, this is Miguel with In Plain Sight Security and Readiness. Uh, I want to make this video called Now What? Shit hit the fan, now what? If you read or seen any of my videos, follow me on Instagram and whatnot. Again, I'm, I'm all about readiness, all about the readiness in the now and stuff like that. You know, I see a lot of stuff out there about, you know, when the, you know, SHTF, that is like a very popular thing right now. People making videos about, uh, you know, and a lot of stuff I see is all hypothetical. A lot of hypothetical stuff out there. Um... A lot of people are getting ideas from a lot of hypothetical stuff. If you want to prepare for a SH SHTF situation, work on your survival skills. The hell with, you know, bulking up on food, you know, uh, bulking up on ammo, getting all this gear and all this other stuff. Because, you know, that's not going to keep you alive. Just having it is not going to keep you alive. Having some kind of survival skill, that's what's going to keep you alive. You know, you hear about the elements of survival. You hear about, you know, um, or don't even hear about you. It is. You know, you got food and water, you got shelter, you got fire, you got security, and then you got first aid. You know, the, the pretty much the standards, you know. And pretty much what you have to master and practice I cannot stress that enough. Master and practice and become creative with are those five. You got to be able to purify water, but you got to know where to find water. It all starts that way. You know, everybody bulks up on water and, you know, we all got these water bladders and stuff like that. But what if you don't have access to that? Depending on the situation, you may have to leave all that behind or... Let's say you may not be able to. Let's say tornado comes, boom, wipes out your house. You barely survive. Now what? You got all this gear and stuff like that, but you ain't going to be able to find it because your damn house is probably a couple miles away. Now what do you do? Now how do you survive? That's when you're going to be tested. And that's when you're going to need to know, have uh, mastered and know your skills. How to find food, how to purify water, where to find water, first aid if you're hurt, how to treat wounds, how to um, defend yourself, you know, how to make a shelter, what to use, how to build something, how to start a fire, how are you going to keep yourself warm, how are you going to prepare food, if you can't make a fire, all this stuff is the essentials of survival. You know, the hell with the gear, the hell with, oh, this is what I'm going to do during, you know, the SHTF. It's all about what you know. You need to know how to survive. Get away with, this is a plan of attack, like, this is what I'm going to do. This and this is how it's going to go down in this situation. No. You just have to learn how to survive. Stick with the basics. That's what it's all about. You know? Yeah, granted, there's luxuries, just like anything else in life. You know, there's luxuries. You know, we have fast food. Instead of having to go out there and uh, hunt down food or, you know, farm our own food, we have fast food out there. You know, um, we build houses. We got contractors to build our houses. You know, we have um, cars to get us from point A to point B. You know, we have grocery stores to get our food. We have doctors. We have hospitals to go provide you know, us first aid, you know, uh, we got companies that bottle up water, make it dumb simple for us. But when you don't have that stuff, what do you do? You got to figure out a way how to get it, how to acquire all that stuff. And again, that's what's going to keep you alive. Regardless of what the situation is, regardless, you're going to need to perfect and master and practice on a daily basis because you lose it. You lose those skills. When you don't practice those skills, you lose it. Just, for example, firearms, 
shooting your weapon. If you think to shooting your weapon once after you bought it, maybe, yeah, you got excited, you went to range a few times, and then it's been like three years since you shot your weapon, you're going to be as accurate. No, no. Same thing with, you know, if you haven't fought anybody in years, you're not going to be as good. If you haven't worked out in years, you're not, I'm going to tell you right now, if you don't work out on, on a daily, not necessarily a daily basis, at least on a weekly basis, you would be surprised how fast you get out of shape. Um, like I said, just for anything else, you have to practice, you have to master it, and also you got to prepare yourself mentally for yourself. In a situation, it's going to suck so bad, you are going to be demoralized. You are gonna, you are gonna be afraid. Also, you're gonna have, you're gonna be sympathetic because your family, your loved ones are gonna be afraid, and they're gonna lose morale. They're, they're, they're gonna lose confidence in themselves. They're, they're gonna panic. Um, they, they can go into shock. You have to be ready, prepared for all this stuff here because that's the stuff right there. N having the knowledge and being able to perform during all this stress. They're at a moment's notice, knowing what to do is what's going to keep keep you alive. None of this bug out bag shit, all these fancy fire starters and all that stuff, that's not going to keep you alive. Granted, like I said, it's a luxury. It's great. I mean, there's like several different fire starters, um, stoves, you name it out there. But if you can't actually use it, that's one thing to have it, but then to actually use it. And also... Just because you make a spark doesn't mean you're going to make a fire. You still have to grow that fire, and you have to maintain that fire. If you don't understand the concept of fire, then, yeah, you can spark the shit and get in many little rinky-dink fires you want. But if you can't build a bonfire or something, um, a flame or a, a campfire big enough where you can boil water or cook something or even keep yourself warm, what the hell are you going to do? Same thing with a shelter. If you've never been in a shelter, let's say you have your tent. Yeah, all great. You have your tent. You got all this stuff in. Like you have a tarp. Doesn't mean you know how to build a shelter. Doesn't mean you're going to be able to survive and keep yourself, you know, warm and away from the elements. The stuff you got to practice. You got to know how to do this. And you got to keep knowing how to do this. Because what if you lose that tarp? What if you lose that tent? You know, it's, what are you going to do then? Again, it all goes back to the basics. You have to go back to the basics. You have to train and master those five elements of survival. Once you can do that, you can pretty much survive anything. Regardless. Terrorist attack. Um, economic collapse. You know, uh, active shooter. I mean, regardless. You know... As long as you train, you master how to perform during these situations, you're going to be fine. And most of the time, gear ain't going to get you out of this stuff. What's going to get you out is up here and then here. You know, if you clam up, then you're not going to get out of that situation. If you uh, don't know what to do. You, if you're trying to rely on the gear that you have, thinking just because you have it, you're going to survive. No. It's not going to work. Because things change. Shit can get real, real in a, a SHTF situation. So, again, I'm not going to go ahead and blabber and, and go on and on and on. It's one of those things that, you know, I hear about people saying, like, there's a timeline when, when the SHTF is going to happen, like an economic collapse or... Or, you know, an EMP or, or anything like that. The, you know, there is no true timeline or or, or, or when this is going to happen. A lot of information you got is, is all garbage. It's not, a lot of stuff ain't going to happen that way. And um, I just think there, there is some really bad information out there. Re a lot of ridiculous information out there. And if you look at all the people, the true survivalists, and people who can go out there and do it, they're all going to tell you the same thing. Learn how to build a shelter. Learn how to make a fire. Learn how to purify water, find food. You know, learn how to defend yourself or any kind of, you know, make weapons, something. 
And then the other one is, is first aid and sanitation. You got to keep yourself clean. You got to keep yourself from getting sick. You got to be able to treat wounds. You got to be able to um, help others out, your loved ones. Again, it's all basic survival. It's all off of those five elements. Forget about your gear. Forget about all. It's, it's all about that. Once you master and perfect that, and again, train, train, train. Once you do all that, that's not going to matter what the situation is because you're going to be ready. So I hope you guys like this video. Sorry I had to be very true and blunt and honest, but like I said, you know, it's, you, you gotta, you gotta be real careful about what information you're going with, what you're using to train yourself with and what you're going to believe. So again, if you like the videos, please share, um, share the knowledge, you know, there, there, there's plenty of people out there that have no clue about survival or prepping or anything like that, being ready and, you know, definitely, you know, don't, don't be, don't hide it from people. Everyone's entitled to this type of information. Everybody should be prepared, and you should want everybody to be prepared. The last thing you want to do is fight your neighbors over food or something because they're not prepared. So, again, thanks for watching this video. Um, please subscribe to my channel. A lot of good information. Uh, do me a favor. You know, if you like the video, you don't like the video, let me know with the thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, if you like it, share it. And also, um, I'm on Instagram, i.p.s.secureandready. I always have a tip of the day on, on my Instagram. And again, you know, be humble, stay alert, and always be ready. Till next time, guys.